Hello everyone! I've been developing mobile games for 6 years now and I used to struggle with terrible performance. Like lower than 30 FPS on mid-range phones, constant chattering and that's for 2D games. I'm not even talking about 3D ones. But I figured out my optimization process that consistently gets me pretty close to 60 FPS on most mid-range devices. And today I'm sharing exactly how I do it. These are the techniques I use in every single project, so let's jump in. So first thing, I always set my target at 150 draw calls maximum. You can see this in frame debug tab. This is what I found works across different devices. When I go over 170, that's when I start seeing frame drops on older phones. I test on my pretty old Galaxy Note 10 Lite. If it runs smoothly there, it will run on anything. My rule is, if it doesn't hit 50-60 FPS on 5-year-old mid-range phone, I'm not shipping it. And how I handle textures. Ok, so textures and UI element, this is where I used to waste so much memory. Now here's exactly what I do. I create one UI atlas for each UI panel and separate atlas for the main game UI. All my buttons, icons, UI elements, everything goes into 1024 by 1024 textures. I manually create my atlases and don't really use Unity Sprite Atlas feature, as I find manually creating atlases in Photoshop more performance friendly. And by doing this alone, I usually cut my UI draw calls from like 3040 down to 510. And let's take a look at my compression settings. I normally use ASTC 6x6 for everything now. Yeah, it takes longer to import, but the quality to size ratio is incredible. For older Android devices, I have ETC2 as fallback, but ASTC handles 95% of my users. And let's take a look at how I optimize my 3D models. So for 3D models, I learned this the hard way. I used to have like hundreds of separate objects in my scenes. Now I'm way smarter about it. I combine all my static environment pieces into single meshes, like all the rocks, trees, buildings that don't move, I merge them using mesh combiner asset from Unity Asset Store. You have to be careful here, as it also increases IPA or APK file size if the combined mesh is too big. And by doing that, I'm also reducing draw calls. And for the animated stuff, like characters, especially if I use character assets with a lot of clothing variations and separate clothing parts, I also use mesh combiner asset, but for skin models. So instead of 7-8 draw calls per character, I get around 2-4. Ok, this is something I wish I learned earlier, static batching. This literally changed my game's performance overnight. So here's what I do. Any object that never moves, trees, rocks, building decorations, I mark them as static in the inspector. Unity then combines all objects with the same material into single draw call at runtime. And I'm super disciplined about this now. If it doesn't move, animate or change, make it static. Never change the transform of static objects at runtime. It breaks the batching. Text rendering used to kill my performance, especially with lots of UI text. Now I use Tag Mesh Pro instead of old UI text asset. Build size matters as much as performance. And here is how I keep my 3D model small without sacrificing the quality. So in the model importer, I always set mesh compression to medium or high for non-hero objects. I also optimize mesh data for size, not rendering speed for background objects. I also optimize models before importing, by deleting hidden faces and unnecessary geometry, using lower polygon counts for distant objects, baking complex materials into simple diffuse textures when possible. And let's take a look at my lighting setup. Lighting was probably my biggest performance killer when I started. I used to use a lot of light sources in my scenes, especially in my 2D games. But here's how I handle it now. I never have more than one two lights affecting any single object. Usually I stick to one. One main directional light and in the environment tab I add ambient color. That's it. If I have night scenes and I need to add more lighting, I usually fake lights using sprites with faded round textures. I rarely use real-time shadows, I also fake them using round or square sprites with shadow shader that seamlessly intersect with other fake shadows. Shaders used to be this mysterious thing for me, but now I keep it super simple. 
I use less and less outline shaders on mobile. They look cool, but they double your draw calls. Same with post-processing effects. They just not worth it. I stick to Unity mobile shaders. Mobile diffuse for most things, mobile bump diffuse when I need normal maps, unlit texture for UI and simple objects. These are optimized specifically for mobile GPUs. Another thing is my camera setup. I keep my camera relatively close to the action. The less stuff in the view, the better performance. I'm obsessive about sharing materials now. I have like three, five base materials that I reuse everywhere. Same stone material for walls, floors, props, everything. It looks consistent and performs great. Another thing is my prefab strategy. I use prefab variants extensively. One base prefab with shared materials, then variants for different colors or small changes. This way I'm not accidentally creating new material instances. My testing process. I build to my test device at least once a day. The Unity editor lies to you about performance. You have to test on actual hardware. All right, so here's the checklist I use in every single scene I create. If I can check all these boxes, I know my scene will perform well. So this is how I've gone from 20-25 FPS disaster to smooth 50-60 FPS games. It's not magic, it's just being disciplined about these techniques in every project. And look, I know it seems like a lot of work, but once you make it your habit, it becomes second nature. And the feeling of seeing your game run smoothly on a budget phone, totally worth it. If this helped you to optimize your game, hit the like button and subscribe. I share my development process and what I learned and every single project. Drop a comment and let me know what performance challenge are you facing. And see you in the next one. Bye.